Nick, I want to speak about brain health and the great work being done at the Sunshine Hospital in Melbourne's West, which services a number of my constituents. The Department of Neurology at the hospital is headed by Professor Tissa Wijaratne, who is pushing the boundaries of medicine to treat brain health as a holistic approach rather than is currently through the prism of individual ailments such as migraines, dementia and mental health. Every day, between 10 to 15 patients are admitted to Sunshine Hospital's emergency department with debilitating migraines. That's about 420 people a month and about 5,040 people a year seeking treatment for a condition that is debilitating and has significant financial costs on the Australian taxpayer. Professor Wijaratna, who is the chair of World Brain Day, hopes and aims to see the western suburbs of Melbourne become the nation's capital for migraine research with the establishment of a national centre of excellence in the heart of Melbourne's west. He says, and I quote, Australia is the only developed country with no national centre that is purely dedicated to the most common medical disorder in the world that would drive research. We have some of the brightest and most brilliant young minds in the world. We need to create platforms for these younger and brighter minds to work with older minds collaboratively. Professor Wijanatna uh, attended uh, and organised uh, the first national migraine walk, which was held on World Brain Day 2019 at the Melbourne Arts Centre on Sunday, July 21st. And I congratulate him for his work.